Hi, it's Carol. Wanted to show you a quick way to insert your logo in Word. Uh, I've got it set up already on my machine, so I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut, Control and Q, I've set it under. And there you go. So any document I create, if I want my logo to appear, I can insert it at any time using Control and Q. Let me show you how I've set that up. So the first thing you do is insert your logo. Um, you would navigate to your folder and make sure you've inserted it. I'm just going to go through that process. Uh, da -da, so there's my logo already, set, ready for me to insert. It comes in the wrong size. Another shortcut I want to show you is you can resize a picture obviously by dragging the handles on the corners or under picture tools and format you can change the height um, and the width that way or if you're lazy like me and you want to use the keyboard you would choose you would hold con uh, shift down sorry and you can choose the downward arrow to make it smaller and the upward arrow to make it bigger well I'm just so lazy I'm just going to use shift and the downward arrow and unfortunately I have to take my hands off the keyboard to drag it to the corner but that's okay so what I'm going to show you now is how you can then Add your logo into what's called the Quick Parts Gallery. So with your logo selected, you go into Insert off the menu and choose Quick Parts. And you want to save the selection to the Quick Parts Gallery. There's loads you can do in here, but I'm just quickly demonstrating how to insert your logo. So I'm going to click onto that. You give uh, a name to what you want to uh, put into the Quick Parts Gallery. I'm just going to call it Logo. I'm not going to change anything in here and I'm just going to click OK. So what I've done there is if I just get rid of the logo, so delete it, I could use the Quick Parts Gallery, so in Insert Quick Parts Gallery um, and anything I put in the gallery will be listed here and you can just click onto it that way. So that's one way of doing it, but as you know I'm lazy so I just want to use a keyboard shortcut. So I'm just going to delete that logo and to assign the quick part, uh, the building block as it's called, uh, to a keyboard shortcut, you'd go into File and Options and you would go into Customize Ribbon. At the bottom you should see Keyboard Shortcuts and Customize, click onto there. Uh, under Categories you need to scroll all the way to the bottom and find Building Blocks and this is what we're working with now uh, is Building Blocks. In the building blocks section here on the right hand side you just need to find the name of the object you put into your quick parts gallery so i'm just going to click into that side and type l off the keyboard it takes me down to the l's and there you can see my logo um, because i've been playing with this earlier it already has a key uh, a shortcut key assigned to it but what you would do is, um, with a new one, is click into where it says press new shortcut key and um, just on the keyboard type the shortcut key that you want to use and make sure you're not overriding one like there's so many of them already in existence. Once you've done that you can click assign and close and OK to the Word Options dialog box. And what you've done there is if you press Ctrl and Q you've inserted your logo using a keyboard shortcut. There you go, that's the tip for Friday. Have an amazing weekend. Bye.